Natsumi, I need to talk to you about something. Huh? What is it? My husband is always in a good mood, but he has a serious look on his face today. Wait, is he cheating on me or something? Or maybe he wants to file for divorce. My name is Natsumi Okajima. I'm a housewife with a part-time job. My husband, Tatsunori, is a salesman. He's always energetic, bright, and talkative. <laughs> I think I'm going to end up with the best overall performance this month. Well, I'm looking forward to your bonus this upcoming summer, then. Yeah, and once I get my bonus, we should go on a trip somewhere. Sounds like a great idea. And just like that, I was living my life happily with my husband. But today, things were different. Tatsunori has a really serious look on his face, and I feel like he's about to say something very important to me. I hope it isn't bad news or anything. So I sat down on the couch and asked him what this was about. Alright, let me cut to the chase. You're cheating on me, aren't you? Whoa, what? What are you talking about? No, of course not. I would never do anything like that. Hmm, I don't believe you. You're telling me the truth and show me the proof that you're not cheating on me. Do you hear yourself right now? I'm not cheating on you, so there's no way I can prove that to you. So you don't have any proof, huh? Well, for the last time, I'm not cheating on you, I swear. I'm sorry, but I don't trust you. I think you are. But, but why the hell do you think I'm cheating on you? <sighs> Isn't it obvious? It's because you haven't gotten pregnant yet. It's been months since we got married, but you're still not pregnant. What are you talking about? It's only been eight months since we got married. And I don't understand why that would translate into me cheating on you. This isn't fair. Eight months is a long time, you know. And you don't want to have a baby with me because that would just complicate things with your secret boyfriend. That's what's going on, right? <sighs> Fine. Then let's go to the hospital together next weekend and we can clear things up once and for all. Why would I go to the hospital with you? Well, one of us might be infertile or something. You never know. We've never gotten tested before. So this is a good opportunity to find out why I haven't gotten pregnant yet. Well, if you say so, let's do it then. And so, a week later, we visited the hospital together. Hmm, well, this tells me that it's a bit difficult for Natsumi to become pregnant. You're suffering from irregular menstruation, right? Yes, irregular menstruations aren't good, right? So, you're telling me that Natsumi isn't cheating on me? Is that it? W what? What you're saying is that it's not that she doesn't want to become pregnant, it's that she can't, right? W well, no. Not necessarily. You can become pregnant. It's not like you guys were trying for kids, right? No. We were hoping that it would eventually come along. Then, could you list down your period cycle on a calendar? That way we can figure out what your ovulation date is. That's going to tell us when the best time for you guys to try for kids is. There's free apps that can help you keep track of this schedule. So I recommend you guys download it. Or, you can always write it down in your calendars as well. There's a lot of ways you can keep track of this. But if you don't see any results within six months, then we should start considering what treatment options there are for you. I see. I didn't know that becoming pregnant was something that takes so much effort. There's only about a 30% chance for a woman to become pregnant each time they have sexual intercourse. Just because your wife hasn't gotten pregnant these past eight months doesn't mean she's cheating on you. I personally think that's a ridiculous accusation. You're only going to stress her out even more, and that could lead to serious health problems. What the hell was that all about? Why have you been going out so often these days, then? I thought you were going out to meet your boyfriend. Are you stupid? I was going to work, you idiot. Why can't you make it more obvious that you're going to work, then? What? How is this my fault? You need to knock it off, all right? I've had enough of you. And after we had a huge argument, Tatsunori stormed off and went out to grab a drink with a few of his friends. But to be honest with you, this is the first time I've seriously thought about how I can become pregnant. Giving birth and raising a child is no easy task. It's going to take a lot of money as well. And right now, I'm not really confident that I have enough saved up to do those things. But I guess I should start keeping track of my period cycle like the doctor suggested. Wah! Huh? What the hell? Where did that baby come from? This is my sister's daughter, Emmy. Not to me. You're going to be looking after her from now on. So make sure you take good care of her, all right? What? I don't understand. I said... Emmy's going to be your responsibility now, so good luck. Huh? What are you so confused about? We're going to be raising Emmy from now on, so you're going to have to perform your duties as her mother. It's simple enough, right? What the hell are you talking about? Are you stupid? Why would we look after her, huh? 
Well, the other day, my sister participated in a lottery and she ended up winning an all-exclusive trip to Europe. But she only won two tickets, so she can't bring her daughter with her on her trip. But, but I don't care about any of that. That's none of our business. Why have we got to look after her daughter, huh? We're not her personal babysitters. But you can't become pregnant, so this was the only way we were ever gonna get a baby. I didn't have a choice, alright? What? What do you mean, I can't get pregnant? You're not making any sense right now. Well, it's pretty self-explanatory, don't you think? You're infertile, which means that you can't have babies. That's insulting. I need you to apologize. What? Why have I got to apologize to you? I'm the one that has to suffer the consequences of your condition. <sighs> Did you not listen to what the doctor said the other day? He said that we should start keeping track of my menstrual cycle, and that way we might be able to get a baby. And if we don't see any results within six months, we can go back there and seek treatment. But you can't just accuse me of being infertile without any proof. You know how insulting that is for me? But, but even if that's the case, we could just consider this as a practice for when you actually have a baby. It's like a test run. And who knows? It could be fun, you know? Ugh, I have a part-time job that I need to go to almost every day. And you work full-time. Who's going to take care of the baby when we're both away? <laughs> hey, she won't stop crying. What the hell am I supposed to do? I don't know. When babies cry, I think it usually means that we need to change her diapers or that we need to feed her. Wait a minute. Did your sister not tell you anything about her? Does she usually drink breast milk or store-bought milk? And what kind of diapers does she usually wear? Did you at least get her clothes from your sister? And what about her toys? What does she like to do when she's awake? Uh, I don't know. She didn't tell me anything. I wasn't thinking straight when she told me she wanted me to take care of her, alright? Are you stupid or something? That's a human baby. She's not some kind of pet, you know. Hell, even pets usually get treated better than her. And she's still, what, a few months old? You know how sensitive babies are at this age? Sh shut up! It's your fault for not giving me a child. This is on you. What? So you're blaming me again? What is wrong with you? Uh, um, okay, let me check her diapers first then. W whoa! Her diapers need to be changed. H help, please! Well, you're gonna have to change your diapers. You brought her here, so she's your responsibility. What? But you're a woman. You should know how to do these things. Why well, have I got to take care of her for you? Well, because you didn't tell me that you were bringing her back with you. So she is your responsibility. End of discussion. And for the next couple of hours, we went back and forth arguing with each other. And a week later... Alright, thanks for looking after my daughter for me, Tatsu. I'm here to pick her up. Sh sure Huh? Did you lose some weight or something? You look really tired. Well, yeah. I've been taking care of your daughter for you and it's been really stressful, so... What? What's going on, Natsumi? What is it? Why did you not take care of Emmy for me? My brother says he did everything by himself. Why have I got to look after your daughter for you? What? So what are you going to do if something happened to my daughter while she was staying over at your place, huh? That's exactly what I was going to ask you. You didn't even tell my husband whether your daughter drank breast milk or store-bought milk. And not only that, but you didn't even give him any of her toys, clothes, or diapers. How dare you treat your daughter like that? You should be ashamed of yourself. But that's when Haruna's face turned red with rage. She looked super pissed off and said this to me. Shut up, alright? I was just letting you take care of my daughter because I felt bad about you being infertile. I was doing you a favor. <laughs> well, I never asked you to do that for me. But anyway, I can't with you two anymore. I've had enough of you idiots already. And so, I brought out a pair of divorce documents from my bag and slammed it onto the table. W what the hell is this? Can't you see what they are? They're divorce documents. I was going to hand it to you eventually. Y you're kidding me, right? This has to be a joke. You know what? I think you guys should file for divorce. This is good for you, Tatsu. You can't be happy with her. She can't give you babies for crying out loud. Well, you actually might be right. And so, my husband signed the divorce documents like it was nothing. We don't have to split our assets or anything, right? We don't have a shared bank account, so I can just keep the money that we have in our own separate accounts. I'm going to gather all of the stuff that I bought, and I'll send them over to my parents' place. Let's just not complicate things, all right? Do whatever you want, but I'm not going to let you sleep in this house anymore. You should go and find a hotel or something. And so I grabbed the bare necessities, packed them in my suitcase, and headed to the nearest hotel. I'm not worried about the future right now because I still have a bunch of money saved up in my personal bank account. It probably won't take long for me to find a new apartment as well. I then quickly informed my workplace that I was going to quit at the end of the month. I didn't want to stay in the city anymore, 
so I had to find another job. Phew. It's been a while since I've been out after dark like this. Huh? A matchmaking restaurant? I've seen one of these on TV before. I think it's a place where men and women looking for a partner can meet new people while having food and drinks. I'm not looking for a new partner right now, but I really wanted to talk to someone, so I made the decision to step inside. I ordered a drink at the bar and was sitting at the counter when... Hey, is this seat right here open? Huh? Oh, oh yeah, go ahead. All right, thank you. So, what brings you here today? Well, um, I'm actually going through a divorce right now and I haven't filed for it yet. But my husband and I are definitely going our separate ways now. Wait, really? I'm sorry to hear that. Don't worry about it. By the way, what's your name? It's Natsumi Okajima. What's yours? My name is Yoshihiko Takage. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, Mr. Takaji. To tell you the truth, I recently got a divorce as well. Wait, really? But I hear the divorce rates have been on the rise, so I guess it's not that surprising. That kind of makes me feel better. And just like that, I became good friends with Mr. Takaji. We exchanged numbers that night and started seeing each other. And a month later, he proposed to me, and now we're getting married. The night we met, I ended up staying at his place because he invited me over. Mmm, this is amazing. This is the best meal I've had in months. I'm sure that's not true. And when I knew it, we were living together in his place. He never asked me out, but we both knew we were a couple. We got along with each other, and we were still in our 20s. Neither of us had kids, so there was nothing in the way of us getting married. Apparently, you have to wait a month before you get remarried after filing divorce. But it makes sense that filing for divorce is harder than getting married with someone. Hey, Natsumi. I'm back. Welcome home. Dinner's ready. W Whoa. You cook dinner for me? Of course. I'm planning on cooking for you every day. But, but make sure you don't push yourself too hard, all right? This isn't a big deal. My husband didn't seem to appreciate it as much as you, though. Really? I can't believe there's people like him out there. Oh, you'd be surprised. He constantly blamed me for everything. That's terrible. But anyway, enough of that. You should eat before the food gets cold. Yeah, thanks. I'll do the dishes for you then. Thank you. And just like that, Yoshihiko has been very good to me so far. He's nothing like my previous husband. This is how couples are supposed to be. They're supposed to help each other. Congratulations, Mr. and Mrs. Takagi. Yes. W wait, you're telling me that? That's right. You're gonna hear the heart beating right here. I can't believe it. I'm gonna be a father. We're finally having a baby together, and we were both very, very happy. But then, this happened. Hey, long time no see. Why do you sound mad? And anyway, I need to talk to you about something. Are you free next weekend? What is this about? Well, it's something important. I'd like to talk to you in person. Okay, fine. Thank you. I'll meet you at the cafe in front of the station then. I haven't talked to my ex-husband in months, and so I thought this might be a good opportunity for me to actually sit down and have a heart-to-heart -heart with him. And that's why I decided to meet up with him. I was going to tell my husband that I was meeting a friend, but I didn't want to lie to him. So, uh, um, Yoshihiko? What's up? My ex-husband texted me earlier, and we're planning on seeing each other next weekend. Wait, what? Why? I don't know, but this is the last time I'll ever see him. It's alright, you can go. I trust you, honey. Thank you. I'm glad I married you, Yoshihiko. I feel the same way, honey. And so I waited for my ex-husband at the cafe, and a few minutes later... A lot of time to see. It's been a minute. But man, it's only been six months, but it feels like it's been years. Yeah, our lives have completely changed, so... Where are you living now? In an apartment. Cool, what floor? The 26th floor. Wh what That place must be really expensive then. I guess. Wow, I'm impressed. By the way, what's your address and phone number? What are you going to use it for? Well, I'll just send you letters and stuff. I don't want letters from you, and this is going to be the last time we ever see each other, alright? Hey, why are you acting like this? We used to love each other. Does that not mean anything to you? Uh, you know why I'm living in an expensive apartment building right now. B because you got a promotion at work? No, I got remarried. That's why I'm living comfortably right now. Uh, what? You're lying. There's no way that's true. I'm not lying. I have my ring right here. This is ridiculous. You know how that makes me feel? C can you stop shouting? Uh, I came here because I want to get back together with you. Why'd you have to marry someone else? 
but you accused me of being infertile and made fun of me. Why do you even want to get back together with me? Well, I was able to rethink my decisions and... That's a lie. You probably just need someone to take care of things around the house for you. Well... My husband is the kindest man you'll ever meet. He always thanks me for doing the chores, and he's really helpful too. He's a way better man than you. Sh shut up! I don't care! Then you shouldn't care about me marrying someone else. Anyway, I've started a new chapter of my life, and I don't want anything to do with you anymore. If you want to talk again, we can talk through a lawyer. But wait! I'm not done with you, Natsumi! I heard my ex-husband calling my name, but I ignored him and headed back home. How was it today? He became distraught when I told him I got remarried. He also said he wanted to get back together with me. I guess he understands your true worth now. But I told him I wanted nothing to do with him, so hopefully he stays away. Um, who is this? Hey, not to me! You can't abandon me like this! I'm going to make you regret doing this to me! Are you threatening me? I'm not going to let you abandon me! If you're not going to get back together with me, then I'm bringing you down with me! Okay. Who was it? My ex-husband. He told me that he was going to bring me down with him. Huh. But well, you didn't tell him our address, right? Of course not. I would never do that. Then we should be okay. Security here is top-notch as well, so I was going to buy new phones for us. But let's use those from now on. You can keep your old phone, but don't use it too much. Yeah, that's a good idea. My husband kept on calling my old phone and threatening me, but every time, he failed to intimidate me. I managed to record all the threats he made towards me, so this is what we're doing now. Yeah, this should be enough. Let's go to the police and get a restraining order on him. And, thanks to Yoshihiku, my ex-husband stopped calling me. A few weeks later, Yoshihiku told me about my ex-husband. Your ex-husband is in quite a pickle now. What do you mean? He has a sister called Haruna, right? Yeah, and I think she had a daughter called Emmy. She apparently left Eri at his place. What? And now, he can't get a hold of her. He tried his best to take care of her, but eventually, it came too much for him. That's why he wanted to get back together with you. He was going to have you adopt Eri. Oh, that family is crazy. So, I had my lawyer inform him that you're pregnant right now. I also told him that if he ever got near us again, we would seek legal action against him. And what did he say? He went crazy! Oh, and I told the city about Aerie, and I think they're going to put her in an orphanage. I doubt he can take care of her, so... And now, he's at a loss for what to do. He apparently hasn't gone outside in weeks. I see. I bet he wanted to get back together with me and start a family with Aerie, and I. When you think about it, that's kind of sad. Tatsunori ended up becoming depressed, and he's now staying over at his parents' place. But I don't care about that anymore. I'm going to forget about what happened in my past and enjoy the life that I have right now.